guys, welcome to my channel, Creepy Cozy Cute, where I'm going to go fly. <laughs> I already forgot. What I'm... Hi guys, I'm Omaya. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. You've been recording this whole thing. Are we gonna have bloopers? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Omaya. Welcome to Creepy Cozy Cute. This is my very first video on my channel. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a part one of my Halloween decor haul. I decided to break it into parts because I literally have barely begun shopping and I already have so much stuff it is busting out of my closet. So I need to show you guys all of the stuff and then I can probably put it up away in storage and then when I fill the closet up again I'll probably do a second video. So I started shopping like late June early July because I just could not wait for Halloween. Honestly other people's stores seem to already have stuff. I don't know if it's just my store, but it gets everything so very late. So there were a few stores that I walked into that I just, I couldn't leave empty handed. So I bought like one or two things. Uh, one of those stores was Big Lots. They really didn't have much, but they did have this really cute guy that I like a lot. So he is a candy dish. He's a little cat. He's a nice size. He's like almost the size of my head. And he was only $6, which I feel like is actually pretty good for a piece like this. I did see a piece similar to this in At Home that was slightly bigger, but the design just, it wasn't as good. So I really like this guy a lot. I'm glad that I picked him up. Another store that I only got one thing at, but I'm really excited about. I don't remember how much he was because I ordered him online, but he's from Killstar. I don't know if you've seen him. He is in like everybody's Instagram posts right now. But he actually is a little vase. So I've got these old dusty dollar store roses <laughs> that I keep in him. But I think he's so cute. The next store that wasn't really stocked too nicely but that I picked up a few things at was TJ Maxx. So I got this guy. And he's actually supposed to have a little scrubber in here but he was missing a scrubber. I still thought he was really cute. I'm probably going to use him as a little candy bowl, a little candy dish. He was only $3.99, which I think is really good for a nice little quality piece here. Keeping with the ghost theme, I also got this little platter, which I thought was absolutely adorable from TJ Maxx. I don't know what I'm going to put on here because I know I'm going to throw candy on here and then I'm going to be upset that I'm covering his face. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. This was $7.99. Another thing I got from TJ Maxx. What was it? Ooh. So I got this cup from TJ Maxx. I believe it's supposed to be for wine, but I'm not really a wine on the go kind of person. So I might honestly use this for coffee. It is a Ray Dunn piece, which I don't know if you know, it is so hard to find Ray Dunn Halloween right now, but I found this guy and he was $7.99. I do really love the color. I don't know if you can see it's like a bright like witchy like potiony green and I, I love that. The next store that I went to that I found like one or two pieces that every time I walked in which was like literally three times a week it was Bath and Body Works. So every time I went in I feel so bad for the girls who work there because I just ran right for them and was like hi Halloween now please wear. There were a few pieces that were there and I literally, when I say like I bought anything that was Halloween just because I needed to walk out with something, that's what I did. So this piece, he's a little weird. He kind of looks like an alien. I was really excited about him when I first saw him because again, he was like the only Halloween thing there. And also I have a Chihuahua. So I thought, well, well Dracula Chihuahua, he's one of the wallflowers. I've recently become obsessed with wallflowers. So I thought that he would be a cute little different piece to buy. I don't know if I'm actually going to use him, but I have him, so he's here. <laughs> the wallflower I am going to use though, which I looked for every time I went in, I ended up actually getting lucky and finding it online one of the few times it was actually in stock. It is this guy. So I don't know if you know, every year Bath & Body Works does like a haunted house wallflower and they're really cool. They, they light up they actually have like a little projection when they're plugged in and it's a really nice size so and it's really cute he was 
$34.50, which is a little steep, but I absolutely had to have it this year. So I, I paid $34.50 for this and I might keep it out all year round just to get my money sorted. So I also got this piece from Bath & Body Works. I actually think this was the very first thing I picked up. So this is a soap dispenser holder. Uh, if you can see, this is where the soap would go in for the Bath & Body Works soap. I don't even use the Bath & Body Works soaps, but I thought he was really cute. And he's actually, he's got little, little chips on him. I don't know if you can see. So we have named him Chippy and we love Chippy and Chippy might, might stay out all year, honestly. Chippy was, oh, Chippy doesn't have a price. The next little things that I bought were these two, uh, I think they're called handbag, the hand sanitizer holders. So this one's kind of cool. It comes on a lanyard. And it's got a little charm that lights up. So he's really cool. I don't know if I'm actually going to use these because I don't really carry hand sanitizer on with me, which I guess I probably should. This one sings. Or he's supposed to at least. Oh, there it goes. That's really cute. I might honestly give these away. So stay tuned. I might have a little giveaway. The last thing that I got from Bath and Body Works, I grabbed this candle. So I don't know if you can see it. It says hello gorgeous, but gourd like pumpkins. And oh my God, it smells so good. I actually forgot that I had purchased two of them. So this one's brand new. I haven't burned this one yet, but Ugh. So it smells like a French vanilla pumpkin spice latte and it smells even better when it's burning I'm always wary of whether or not a smell is gonna translate well when it's actually lit But this smells so good when it's lit and it just fills the whole room with pumpkin-y goodness. It's amazing So the next store that we are going to do is Marshall's. I only bought a few things from Marshall's I know they've stocked a lot more, but I actually stopped shopping maybe a couple days before my vacation and I haven't gotten into any stores since I came back from vacation. So some of the few items that I picked up from Marshalls were, I got three of these. They're three different ones. So they are, they're made of wood. They're like little shelf sitters. And there's this one, which is the Tarantula Legs and he's green. He was $5.99 and I believe they were all $5.99. But this one is purple and it is the arsenic. And then this one just says spells and potions and it is orange. So I thought these were really cute and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I'm thinking maybe I will set up my bar area to be like a an apothecary slash like witches potion table type thing. So again, Ray Dunn Halloween, so hard to find. I did find these, which I thought were really cool. I've never actually seen these before. It's two scented candles. They're smoked pumpkin. I don't know if I'm going to like the smoked pumpkin. I tend to not like very spicy, smoky pumpkin scents. I'm more of like a sweet pumpkin, like maybe pumpkin pecan waffles is really nice. So hopefully I like these. Uh, but they say happy and Halloween. I'm probably going to put these on the shelves on either side of my TV, get some symmetry going. So I think these will probably pop right there. These were, they were a price. They were $12.99 for two candles, so it's not too bad. Also from Marshalls is this set of kitchen towels. I, every year I feel like I buy like eight kitchen towels and I have one kitchen, so I don't know why I need so many towels, but I thought these were so cute. So they are white and orange stripes and they say Hocus Pocus. I really like to keep my kitchen like a witch's kitchen type thing. So I thought that these would fit in really nicely. They also have like a circusy vibe and I do love a good circus vibe. So I really love these. I think that's everything from Marshalls. Oh, it is not. Okay. So I'm very, very excited about this. Found this. So it's a big ceramic black pumpkin. It says treat. In white letters it is also right done I actually am so excited about this because it's got a partner I don't have him yet but my friend Megan actually ran into a white one that says trick so again we love symmetry I am so excited to put little treat little trick and 
put something big in the middle. But these are gonna look so good on my console table, probably. The next store that I went to actually was probably the first store to start stocking things. And honestly, they stocked things, you bought them, and then the next time you went, there were just no more. So if you weren't one of the first people to run into at home and start searching for Halloween in the middle of summer, then you, you didn't get these. So there are these mug sets that I found that it seems like only the early birds got because I purchased two sets. There was a third that I didn't get and now they're just nowhere to be found. The first mug set that I found is one of the three. It's the one that I kind of least wanted, but my boyfriend, my fiance, that's weird, my fiance. <laughs> so I just got engaged like two weeks ago and it is very hard for me to remember to say fiance. Actually, maybe there will be some wedding planning on this channel and if i get in my way it's going to be a spooky wedding so stay tuned for that back to the stores so at home i actually saw this cup set on a few people's instagrams and i absolutely love it so it's this guy and it's quite large so it's four cups and they're in its own little stand each cup is a piece of the skeleton they're pretty large mugs honestly and they were only $11.99, which is not too bad for four mugs. Four mugs that you get to use and it's a nice decor piece, so that's like a steal. The set that my fiance really liked, they are these, which they're very cute. They're not super duper my style, but he thinks that they're really cute, so of course I grabbed them for him. So we got a little kitty cat got a jack-o'-lantern, a little ghost, and a little like Frankenstein guy. These mugs are a little smaller than the skeletons, but they're still pretty good size. These were also $11.99. I also grabbed this dude from At Home. He was $14.99. I've been on like a ghost kick recently, so I thought that he was really cute. I am not super in love with this boo thing down here. Honestly, I might pull that off, but other than that, I really like him. He's very simple. Um, he's got a nice texture that I really like, so I also got this sign. This was $6.99. I just, I really like this quote. I think it's really cute. It, it's cutesy. Like, it's wholesome. It's not scary or gory or anything, but like, it's still, it encompasses Halloween, and I like that. So this can be a shelf sitter, or it also actually has a spot right there where you can throw a nail in you can put it on the wall i honestly will probably put this on a shelf but yeah, cute little guy got a little like rustic bow up here i also got these so i'm pretty sure you're supposed to put a candle in these and then the light shines through i don't know if i'm going to actually use them with a candle but i just thought they were really pretty i really love the colors of candy corn i feel like i just don't have enough candy corn decor and i really this year need to step it up because it's just so pretty it's not you know your basic like black and orange or purple or green like it, there it's very bright but it's still it's that is halloween these were 9.99 each they are glass they're quite heavy and they're they're so pretty i also got they have really good like dishware right now and at home i they're not Halloween but more autumn fall ish so I got this canister it is airtight so you can store food in it and they had it in orange and they also actually had it in like a white tannish pumpkin which was also really pretty this was $14.99 to match that I got a small little canister this one is not airtight so I probably would put candy in this not anything that might go bad and then to top it off I got and I got two of them and I cannot wait to drink some tea or some coffee with my fiance out of these it's gonna be so cute these were $4.99 each I don't think I said the price of the little canister this one was $5.99 the last thing that I got from at home I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet but I thought they were really cool I got four which is a lot to buy something that you don't know if you're gonna use but these are super funky they're bones but they are the bleeding candles and I've never used bleeding candles before so I don't really know what they look like I can see the little bits I don't know if you can see a little bit of red inside I guess that's what melts over when they bleed but I'm very excited to try these I'm feeling like maybe a 
like spooky dinner party vibe from these. So I might definitely use these for something like that. The next store that I ordered some stuff from is Hot Topic. I got this sign. So this is from Harry Potter. It was $14.90, but I believe I got it on sale. So it might've been like 20% off or so. But I thought it was really cute. It's not like explicitly Harry Potter, but I feel like it just fits kind of a witchy Halloween vibe. So I got that. I am not super into cocktails yet, but I've decided that I am an adult now. And so I need to suddenly become super into cocktails. So I chose Tiki as the uh, future cocktails of my choice. So I got these two awesome Halloween tiki mugs. They are from a company called Gigi Tiki's, but I bought them from Hot Topic. So I got a Freddy Krueger one and I got a Pennywise one. And these actually don't have prices on them. But if you need to know any of the prices, if there's anything that I forgot, um, just shoot a comment my way and I'll, I'll let you know what everything costs. I also might have gotten these on sale. I'm not totally sure though, but I'm so excited to drink out of these. I honestly might drink water out of these just because I, I need to start drinking from them. Oh, uh, speaking of Hot Topic, I actually got this shirt from Hot Topic. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. It's the Hex Girls and I love the Hex Girls. I still want to be a Hex Girl when I grow up. They're like my absolute favorite thing as a little girl. I desperately wanted to be one of them. The last store, last store that I got stuff from, is going to be home goods i got some really great stuff from home goods i got this cheese board from home goods it has a little stand and it comes with a knife and like a little spatula set it's got a really cool spider web detailing on it and it's made of wood last year at my christmas party i did like a little charcuterie board thing because i think i'm fancy now so i'm going to attempt a halloween board so i'm really excited to use this it was $24.99 so that's a little pricey but it is like one solid piece of wood it is really good quality I'm very excited to use this next pieces that I picked up up until like right now I had no interest in Disney stuff and then I started seeing such cute Halloween Disney stuff especially um, on people's Instagrams and then on like certain youtubers like uh, Angie Bellamere has tons of really cute Disney stuff so I saw this in home goods and I fell in love immediately and I had to have it it is a cookie jar it's pretty big pretty heavy and it is also airtight so you can actually start cookies in it I got this one of the first times that I walked into home goods and then by the next time I walked in, there were no more of these, but I did see this little guy. So I figured I'd pick him up too. He's probably going to sit on my coffee machine as like a decor piece. We're probably not going to use him, but I thought this was so cute. I know the Disney store sells something that kind of fits the same vibe, and I'm probably going to try to find that from the Disney store. So maybe in part two, I'll have uh, another item that looks like these. I also got this set. So it is two more of the wine, the insulated stainless steel wine glasses that Ray Dunn does. If you look, they say trick and treat. They're black with orange writing. These are, the set is $14.99. So it's $14.99 for two. Again, not really a wine on the go person. So I will probably use these for coffee or maybe I'll have maybe wine with some friends in the house. We'll just use these cause they're cute. Oh, almost forgotten pillow pillow you can always use more spooky pillows so i grabbed this guy and he's so squishy and so soft you can tell he's soft because my dog just walked up and desperately wants to lay on the pillow so it says welcome to our haunted house it's like a very soft like jersey feel almost and it's super comfy so i love that it was 19.99 the very last item which is maybe my favorite thing it is a dish it is Ray Dunn. It says trick or treat inside. And uh, I love these jack-o'-lanterns that surround the edge. I think they are so cute. I do not bake, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, honestly. It was $9.99 and I just, I had to have it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Honestly, it will probably just collect stuff and it will just sit somewhere with stuff in it, but I needed to have it. It is so, so precious. And I think that's everything. <laughs> It felt like so so much and now I'm like I didn't I barely bought anything. Uh, but stay tuned for part two 
I'm probably gonna go to a few more stores. I'm probably gonna run back to some of these because I know they've got some more stuff. Thank you for watching the very first video on my new channel, Creepy Cozy Cute. We are doing Halloween, we're doing Christmas, we're doing wedding, where we will do Easter, we will do St. Patty's Day. It does not matter if it's a holiday, I am decorating for it and we are gonna get all types of content for all types of seasonal stuff. If you enjoyed this video, then give me a like. If you are into content like this, give me a subscribe. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you want to vent to me about your day, throw a little comment down below. I will read everything. I will probably respond to everyone. This has been Creepy Cozy Cute, and I hope that I see you guys next time.